Hi guys, it's Alexa. Welcome to my channel. Did you grow up in the 90s? If you did, you might find this video very nostalgic because in this video, I will be talking about Floam. I actually just made this Floam recently. Yes, I know, it's pink. Floam was a really popular toy in the 90s. Even my older siblings loved it when they were little. Even I loved it. The 90s were a really great decade. Well, there's a reason why I'm talking about Floam in this video. As I have already told you many times before, I have a condition called autism. Autism is a sensory processing disorder. And I love to do reviews of different toys and objects that are, would make great sensory tools for people with autism. And the toy I will be reviewing in this video is Floam. Not only was Floam very popular in the 90s, but it has really helped me with my autism. And in this video, I'm going to tell you why. Let's get into the video. The first reason why Floam is good for people with autism is because of its texture. It's very squishy, but it also has a crunchy, bumpy feel to it. It's very relaxing. And anything relaxing is good for people with autism. When you make your own Floam, you can make it with any size foam beads you want. They make regular size foam beads, jumbo ones, and even teeny tiny ones. So you'll get a different texture of Floam depending on what size foam beads you use. But all Floam textures are great. Not only is Floam squishy, but it's stretchy too. That is if you don't add too many foam beads to your Floam. People with autism also love anything stretchy. Floam is actually exactly like slime in so many ways because all it really is, is slime with foam beads in it. I already did a slime for autism video if you want to go check that out, because slime is also great for people with autism. So is Floam. I love how it stretches in a very unique way. It's kind of stringy, which is really cool. Because mine is pink, it looks exactly like bubble gum. Don't eat Floam, guys. It's not edible. The next reason why I recommend Floam for autism is because you can mold it. That was actually the main purpose of Floam back in the 90s, so that kids could build stuff with it. Not only that, but people with autism love objects that they can mold. Because the foam beads hold the Floam together, it's very moldable just like clay. You can mold whatever you want with Floam and just use your imagination to create things with it. For example, I can mold it into a cube. Look at how moldable this stuff is. It may not be the most perfect cube, but it's definitely moldable. It's also satisfying to smush down your molded Floam. Not only does Floam have a relaxing texture and you can stretch and mold it, but the sound it makes is very satisfying. It makes this popping sound that is very satisfying. People with autism love anything that's satisfying and relaxing. The only downside to Floam is that, like slime, it can be really messy if you're not careful. First off, the foam beads can fall out on you and get all over the place. So when making Floam, be careful not to add too many foam beads. If you can't stretch Floam, that means you added too many foam beads to it. Not only that, but Floam can be sticky too. It sticks to my hands every single time I play with it. Just don't let your Floam get into the carpet, your hair, or wherever you don't want the Floam to end up. Lastly, Floam tends to dry up when left out, which is actually a good thing if you want to build something with it. But if you don't want your Floam to dry up, make sure to keep it in a sealed container. Overall, I give Floam a thumbs up for people with autism because it is an amazing sensory tool. And it makes it great inside of a stress ball. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have autism, have a child with autism, or you're an occupational therapist, I highly recommend you give Floam a try. You can either buy it or make it just by adding foam beads to slime. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I post new videos every Friday. You may also follow me on Twitter at Alexa underscore Gerard 98 and on Instagram at Alexa underscore Gerard. If you have any questions or requests for upcoming videos, 
please comment them down below. Thank you for watching. Bye!